Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while, but I'm back with another tutorial for you all. I know we're getting ready for fall, but where I am currently, we're still experiencing temperatures as high as 90 degrees. So I made this cute, simple shirt dress for my baby girl. And if you'd like to see how I made it, please stay tuned. All right guys, let's get started. I'll be using about one yard of this pink lightweight flower print cotton fabric. Any lightweight cotton fabric with no stretch will be the best to use for shirring. I have a roll of white five millimeter elastic cord, some empty bobbins, a fourth of an inch thick of elastic, and some tape. For the measurements, I measure around my daughter's upper chest, going underneath the underarms and around the back for the width. For me, that was 24 inches on two separate pieces of fabric. For the length, I measured 27 inches. You can adjust that measurement to your desired length. Before starting, I iron out the fabric so that I'm working with a clean, flat surface. After ironing, I take both pieces of fabric, back sides facing in, and fold it in half along the width. I measure 2 inches in from the right top corner and mark at that point. Then I measure 3 inches down from that same corner and mark at that point. I connect those two points, then draw and cut on a diagonal line. For the sleeves, I measure around my daughter's shoulders going underneath the underarms and use that measurement for the width. For the length, I measure down 8 inches and as always, you can adjust that measurement to your desired length. Just to note, this is measured on a fold, so this is double the measurement of the width when the fabric is open. Next, I line both sleeves together and the front and back folded pieces with the cut corner along the right side of the open ends. I use the diagonal line of the cut corner as a guideline to cut the corner of the sleeves. These cut corners will serve as the underarm placement when sewing together. I set the sleeves to the side and starting with the front and back pieces of the dress, I hem along the top and bottom for both pieces. Here are both pieces hemmed And I'll set these aside and grab my elastic thread, my empty bobbin, and some tape to prepare for shirring. I take my elastic thread and unwind a good bit off the roll. Then I insert the end of the thread into the hole of the bobbin from the inside and hold the loose thread down with my finger. From here I begin to wrap the elastic onto the bobbin. I wrap tightly enough to make sure it isn't loose without stretching the elastic. I roll the thread going right to left to ensure it is evenly rolled onto the bobbin. I was trying to work as fast as I could but made the mistake of not paying attention to the tangles, so make sure you pace yourself and pay attention to the thread as you're rolling so you don't have too much thread to untangle. Here is what I have after the bobbin is nice and full. I go ahead and cut the end off and tape the end down to avoid any unraveling. I have a few more bobbins that I've prepared to save time as I am sewing. 
At the sewing machine, I choose the straight stitch option. Then I go ahead and adjust the width of the stitch to the widest stitch at 5. For the bobbin, I first remove the tape and insert it the same way as a regular threaded bobbin with the thread facing counterclockwise. I place the thread under the latch and pull up tightly and hold in place before closing the top lid. Starting at the top hem of the dress, I line that hem stitch along with the side of the presser foot as a guideline as I'm sewing. I also make sure the back of the fabric is facing down. I go ahead and start the first stitch as usual. Now when I get to the end, I like to stop a half inch from the edge of the fabric. Then I turn the fabric and sew down three stitches. I turn the fabric again to prepare to sew down the next row of shirring. From here on out, the fabric will be gathered, so I pull to stretch the fabric flat, and again I line the previous stitch along the other side of the presser foot as I sew down to the other end. Again, I stop a half inch from the edge, then turn the fabric, sew down three stitches, turn the fabric again, and sew down the next row. I continue this process until I have 16 rows of stitches. Here are both front and back pieces completed with 16 rows of stitches. Next I line them together front facing in and pin the underarm points together on both sides. Then I line the edges together and sew down both sides with a straight stitch. Here are both pieces sewn together. As you can see here, I also added an overlock stitch to the raw ends for a cleaner finish. Then I turn the dress right side out and cut off any loose threads. When that's done, I set it to the side. Moving on to the sleeves, I open the fold and hem the top as a casing for the elastic and fold the bottom a fourth of an inch in twice to hem. After preparing both sleeves, I measure one and a half inches from the bottom hem and mark at that point for both sleeves. Starting at those points, I sew three rows of shirring stitches using the same method as I did for the front and back pieces of the dress. Here's what the sleeves look like after the shirring. And here's a closer look at those stitches. Next I grab my elastic, which I measured from the front to the back of my daughter's shoulders, and a safety pin. I attach the safety pin at one end of the elastic and insert it into the opening of the casing.
Then I push and pull the elastic through about halfway. I pull the other end of the elastic into the casing, lining the end of the elastic with the raw edge of the fabric. Then I sew down with the straight stitch to hold in place. After sewing that in place, I continue to push and pull the elastic through. When I get to the opening of the casing on the other side, I pull the elastic through and remove the safety pin. Just like the other end, I pull the elastic in, lining the end of the elastic with the raw edge of the fabric, then sew down with a straight stitch to keep that in place. Here's the sleeve with the elastic sewn in place. When that's done, I fold and line the raw edges together right sides facing in and sew down with the straight stitch. When that's done, I turn the sleeves right side out. Here is the completed sleeve. And I'll go ahead and do the same for the other. I have both completed prepared sleeves and the dress. I take one sleeve and line the underarm seam with the side seam of the dress and pin in place. I continue to pin both ends of the sleeves with the top ends of the dress and sew together with the straight stitch. I also add an overlock stitch to the raw ends. Here is the dress with both sleeves attached. And when that's done, the dress is now complete. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye!